So this video is going to show you how to add an angled wall coming from the ceiling. Uh, let me start by showing you a picture of what I mean by that. Um, it would be this kind of wall, which is typically under the stairs. Okay. So we're going to go into floor planner and you can see from my 3D view that I have this wall here and I want to do the same thing where it's angled here and then it comes down straight. So uh, it's a little awkward, but the first thing you're going to want to do is pick the location where you want to split the wall. So I'm just going to pick on the wall roughly where I want to split it and hit the split tool. So what that does is it just creates the wall, uh, two separate walls from the original wall. And so this is the wall we're going to edit. The other one we're leaving the same so that it goes floor to ceiling. So the wall height is actually going to be zero feet, which seems strange. And the raised from floor, this is going to be the same height as my other walls, which happen to be nine, two and a quarter, which is floor planner's default. But we still don't have it angled right now. It would still be not the angled feature. So what you want instead is this corner. You want the height of the walls to be nine, two and a quarter, which is our standard. And then down here at this point, we want the height of wall one to be whatever the height is that you wanted, let's say four feet. Okay, and that's all you have to do. So the height now at this point on the side that you want angled is lower than the default height, which is the side of wall two. And if you look at our 3D view, you'll see that's exactly what we have. To finish it off, you can put a short wall here that's also four feet tall, you can put an angled surface here and then bring that wall back. Just to show you how to do the surface in case you need that. You can just draw a surface. And you want it to oh. I'm fix that corner. And now this is where you can change the height of your surface. So this is where we would want this to be at the height of the wall. Here you would say four feet or whatever it was that you did for your height. You may want to put these corners in more. It looks like I might have um, misclicked there. Now you can see there's a wall in there at that surface. Right. And just to finish things off, why don't we just do it all four feet. And I'm going to go from this split over. And I'm going to delete that part of the wall. And let's see, do I have it looking right? Yes, there it is. So those are the steps. I obviously missed lining something up there, but that's something that's a quick fix. So that's it. That's how you do the angled stairs or angled wall under a stair.